Kwa niseme hivi. Hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza ni serikali kangaroo. Na ni serikali kangaroo kwa sababu hawataki kufuata sheria yote. Kutoa kashakwa na impeachment ukiturudishia swali kama bunge au jisaidii unafaa kujulisha ile tume ya uchaguzi inaitwa IBC ili they do the necessary gazet the name of who you are proposing bring it to parliament iskizwe alafu tuarudishie wa announce tumekubaliana nani i want to tell the judiciary you are the last mile of connectivity with Kenyans to safety because we have been left with a government which cannot understand Kenyans which is imperial a government which want every Kenyan to say yes to whatever they want to do even if it's killing our kids I want to tell you we will not say yes we will tell you no and we are going to say no to your imperiality and your crucifixion of our people My brothers from Mount Kenya, you better stand with the truth of Mweshimiwa Kashagwa. Whoever stands against Kashagwa is standing against the entire mountain and the entire Kikuyu nation. And you are trying to protect that you are patriotic. Mweshimiwa Ichungwa and your team, I want to tell you for free, you will never see power again after Ruto goes home. Mutakuwa mukionea huo uongozi na power kwa viu sasa. Na tutawaambia ukweli mchana na hatutaki nyenye nye. La mwisho. The government of the day. You are killing devolution. No wonder President William Ruto you voted no during the referendum. You didn't want this country to be devolved. That's why we have gotten to power. The county governments cannot get money for development, for drugs, for the people in Kenya. We demand devolution is here to stay and must be protected. It's not a favor and money be released to all the 47 counties for Kenyans to get service. We want, we don't want your shenanigans of impeachment so that we can forget about Adani group. We can forget about uh, not sending money to the counties. We can forget you are not employing teachers. You are just there to make, to make sure that Kenyans are oppressed and oppressed and oppressed. We want to say this. 2027 freedom is coming tomorrow washinu wakioni nikipita hapo nitakuwa imekukosea india secretary general tacheka nyara bunge letu la ke wiki hii tumeona bunge ikitekwa nyara tumeona national assembly bunge letu la kitaifa limetekwa nyara tumeona bunge letu la seneti limetekwa nyara yale ambayo wamefanya huyu njiru alikuwa pale bungeni akiwa na kinailisha ongoya akiwa na senior council Paul Mwite hiyo team walipigania haki ya gashaka mimi nakubaliana na bwana Kioni sisi na nini mnajua mimi ni rafiki wa uhuru Kenyata sana tunajua yale gashaka walifanyia uhuru yale Ruto alifanyia uhuru lakini tuko hapa kusema ya kwamba sio ya kwamba lazima tumpende gashaka ama tumuchukie gashaka tunasema gashagwa ana haki akiwa mkenya haki zote zilimo katika katiba ya Kenya bwana gashagwa deserves justice na yale alipitia kwa bunge la Kenya hayakuwa haki na ndio sababu tumesema bwana Ruto you cannot deny Gashagwa his day in parliament. Then you also come and deny him his day in court. Yeye amenda mahakamani, amepata court orders. Kusimamisha yale ambayo bunge ilifanya. Sababu alinyimwa haki ya kujitetea akiwa mgonjwa, alinyimwa haki ya kujitetea. Na hiyo ndio sababu mahakama sasa imesema inataka imsikize na itoe uamuzi 
na huo uamuzi wa Kenya wanataka uwe wa haki lakini kuanzia jana tunajua ya kwamba kumekuwa na msukumo pressure nyingi sana ikielekezwa mahakamani vile wameteka bunge nyara wanataka kuteka mahakama nyara jana mimi nimekuwa kwenye citizen na nikaambia wa Kenya tumesikia kuna mpango to intimidate our judges to make them even sit over the weekend wana wa Kenya wengi waliniambia wa mara haiwezekani mahakama ikae jumamosi siku ya jumamosi tuko hapa ukambani tunasherekea harusi siku ya jumamosi wengine wako kule western wako kwa matanga na wengine SDA siku ya leo wako wapi kanisani lakini kuna watu wa Kenya kwanza wameweka pressure hadi majudges waweze kukaa siku ya jumamosi siku ya sabato wanasema ukistajabu ya Musa utaona ya nani na no, sio ya Firauni hii ni ya Ruto bana tumeshangaa ana leo tuko hapa we have two senior councils here who also happen to be Kalonzo the 10th vice president of the Republic of Kenya Martha Karua apart from being a senior counsel she was a minister for justice na mimi nikiongea nanyi watu wa kampani watu wa Kirinyaga I was the last minister for justice of the Republic of Kenya na leo tukiwa hapa tunataka tuambie bwana Ruto we served with you in the cabinet ya Mwai Kibaki we served with you in the cabinet of Uhuru Kenyatta this country is bigger than you bwana Ruto this country is bigger than you bwana Ruto and we will not allow you to destroy Kenya let Gashagwa have his day in court what emergency was there where we kuharakisha speakers wa bunge to run through impeachment ya Gashagwa eti umewaambia wewe bwana weta nataka hii kitu ikamilike kingi kufika saa sita wewe umemaliza friday weta ita wa bunge hao tena mambo ya kitoka seneti juma ijuma huyu mtu mupitishe bungeni mwapishe award a new deputy president eti tukienda mashujaa day i don't want that man gashagwa next to me i want my new deputy president beside me na anaitwa kidure nani sasa mimi nashindwa watu wetu hii nchi imekuwa ni nchi ya mtu mmoja kenya is a country under the rule of law the day we allow kenya to become un a country under the rule of man one man called william samoe ruto fellow kenyans to that extent we will be courting dictatorship we will be courting disaster siku ya kesho ni siku ya mashujaa tomorrow mimi shujaa wangu ni chief justice martha kone mimi shujaa wangu kesho nitamsherekea yule jaji mwita aliyetoa order kusimamisha haya mambo mimi shujaa wangu ni yule jaji wa Kerugoya alitoa order kusimamisha hii upuzi tomorrow we shall celebrate mashujaa day William Ruto akikaa hapo without having his way after forcing an untwisting parliament and now he's trying to untwist the courts CJ Martha Come do not allow him Watch I take away tana king nyawa lakini asiweze kuteka mahakama nini nyawa because the judiciary is the last line of defense between us and disaster between us and chaos stands the judiciary let justice be our shield and defend so stack in the same thing in attacka ni mulete my senior sister senior counsel Martha Karua aliyekuwa minister for justice hakuna jambo mgeni tutakuja kuongea ambalo halikusigumziwa Ruto Ruto has been a disaster from day one he was a disaster even when he was in bunge myself and others impeached him for stealing maize huko mwaka huko mbele when he was just a minister when he was in bunge ni unaona akifanya kinyama kwa kachagua 
the guys of that nature <laughs> na jamani wa Kenya bado bado this is a in Kyojo too you are dealing with a, man, a person who has some animal instincts na he has no feelings for you mutarukaruka hapa mrukaruke muende kotini atoke mwichoe utaona kidiki deputy president we as Kenyans must decide na kauli moja ya kwamba enough is enough. Huyu mtu tunacheza cheza all the things ambazo mnasema mother when he was a deputy running for uh, with rider. Hai mambo yote alisugumzwa aliyasema. This guy never voted for this constitution. Why do you expect him to follow it? He led the church to say no to the constitution. He read the church to bring me maneno ya tanga tanga bali tuko nayo sasa. Some of the individuals and I really support the issue of not uh, breaking the law when you want to do what you want. Imambo yanachagwa vile Ruto anaiogoza ni kinyama. It is wrong and it must be it must be opposed. Kama unataka kumtoa mtoe kwa jia inayofaa. Kwa sababu ukifanya hivyo unajua Mumesahau juzi. Three weeks ago tulikuwa pale chini Davivi tumeongozwa na mara. Amenyakua chamba ya watu, Ruto. Amenyakua chamba ya more than 4000 families imerudishwa na court the other day. Hata tulikuwa na dawa jiru. So tunaweza anza kufikiria kwamba ni something easy. We need to get form a new government, but we need to be very serious. Why was I saying figuring out these young people here? They decided they have young families come and they but they refused to be influenced by money. Walikata kupatua pesa waende wakafanyie ruto kazi. If we cannot have that kind of quality in our leaders, tutakuwa na kina mutuse hapa. Tutajaza togeges, the ones that we have from the mountain. I know here kuna mutuse, kure tu kuna togege. But until we make up our minds, kwa sababu, hii si kitu wapawa imekuja kwa accident. It's not accidental. We have messed the country knowing. We say Ruto will help people still, kwa gina wakatuwabia afadhari muizi ambaya natuletea nyubani. Now look at what he's doing. Ame waletea yako. Na amebeba. Ame waletea health. Chief, meda NHIF. So while we are talking about where we want to go, for some of us, it's very bit, we are very bitter. I will start with the Gachagua to the end. But I want to tell you here, Gachagua led us to where we are. And some of us are also not very happy. He led the team that took us through. Number two, ambao ilifanya kule mulima to cause heshima kwa kila mtu. And we need to learn as leaders. These are not the things we want to do going forward. If we get another team like those ones, we will still get in a mess. So while we are saying that we want Ruto and team to go home, we are also saying hopeless leaders. Mutu wabaya napatiwa pesa unaenda kuyapayapa pare kama mutuse, we also don't want them. Otherwise the country will not move forward. It must be a total overhaul. It must be total overhaul. And as we look at you, Mwechimua Karozo Musioka. And Mother is also here. Wamarwe is here. We are all here. Look at us also. Uzibebe tu, for the purpose of winning, that we weke tu, pale. We will have another parliament that is useless. Mambo ya haki, siya uko na siya urafiki. Kila mtu apewe haki, ata adui yako apewe nini? Haki. Ukisema adui yako anyimwe haki, kesho utakuwa kwa hiyo mahali ya mesimama. Na pia wewe utanyimwa nini? Haki. Na ndiyo wale wote, wamekuwa wakitusi, wale tuko kwa upizani, wakienda kupora mali yata kwa uhuru. Wanjue sasa, hiyo mwiko walichapa uhuru na yo sasa ndiyo inafanya nini? Haki. Lakini hiyo idipita, ile nataka, wale wabunge, walikuwa na furaha wakimtupia gashagua mawe 
wajue Ruto akimalizana na Kashagwa wa connect. Yeah. Umeona? Kama umepewa history lesson na wewe hutaki kusikia wajue akimalizia huyo watakuwa next. Na yule atakuwa next kabisa ni yule ya Konacheo. Kwa hivyo wewe ndio leader, wewe ndio utarukiwa kwanza. Hawa wengine watarukiwa baadaye. Lakini kama wa Kenya tutakubali nchi yetu imalizwe? Mimi sitasema na support mutu na support mambo ya haki. Uwe nani I will stand for your right. Hata wakati Ruto alikuwa deputy. Siku moja wakasema hawezi kusimama kama rais sababu amekuwa deputy miaka kumi. Mimi nilisema siwezi kumuchagua lakini yako na haki ya kusimama. Sio sababu ati nilipenda ni mchague. Mimi nilikuwa tu napeana the legal position. Tusimamie haki watu wetu na tusijifanye wajuaji. Tuwe watu wa kusikilizana, iko maneno unajua mimi sijui. Iko ingine najua wewe ujui. Wakati wa uchaguzi sana sana kule mlima Kenya kila mtu alikuwa mjuaji. Unge waambia yoyote. Sasa ndio wanaanza kusema kweli. Kesho ile muhimu ni kesho. Kesho tusijifanye wajuaji. Nikusikilize na wewe unisikilize. Ukilala utatambua ni nini utaweza kufanya nini? Kufanya. Ya mwisho kabisa. Sisi ni wana demokrasia. Hawa ni wana azimio. Mimi ni mwana na Kenya. Sababu ndugu yetu Raila alipo weka mguu mmoja ndani ya serikali na ingine nje mimi niliondoka tukiwa na na Kenya tuliondoka nini azimio hawa ni dugu zangu na kwa hivyo tunaelekea njia moja wako laini hii niko laini hii na nimesikia matakwa ya mapacha yangu ni kuwa rais hata madhakaro yako na hiyo matakwa kwa hivyo laini ni mbili na siko singine tatu ile sababu ni watu wengi wanaota usiwe ndoto ya mtu lakini sote tujue Kenya ni kubwa kushinda mtu twende hivyo sababu we are friends na maono yetu iko sawa sawa tukifika kule mbele tutapata njia ya kuchagua mmoja kati yetu wa kupeperusha nini bendera ukifunga mapema sana wajidanganya uwezi ukaua e, ndoto ya wale wengine unafungua njia hata wale wanataka kuwa maseneta hatuwezi kuambia ya kwamba tunapenda wambua hatutaki mkunje watakuja lakini akiwabwaga atakuwa ni wambua sio mwingine tumekubaliana hivyo najua ndugu yangu hana any issue with that na mwelewa kisiasa ndio namuita mapacha wangu kisiasa ni mwana demokrasia na hatuna shida ni rafiki yangu akiwa na hafla kama hii utanikuta kwake tukiketi we walk together lakini tuelewane naenda kukusa na Kenya wanakusa vya mabia hata kioni anasema anakusa um, jubilee hata wakiwa azimio kila mtu wako na chama yake lakini mwisho tutakuwa kwa nyumba moja hatuwezi walagai walioko bila kushikamana na kuenda pamoja na no njuga gotemo kamba na muge koyo tangu zamani tumekuwa pamoja hakuna mkamba na mtu wa Mount Kenya tangu zamani tumetembea pamoja Ukambani imetoka kule chini Garisa imeenda mpaka Tharakanithi. Pande hizi zingine inashikana na Kirinyaga na Embu. Inashikana na Muranga. Na ndio unasikia watu wakiitwa Kangata kule Muranga. Sababu wameshikana na nini? Naitwa Karua lakini najua Karua ya Mukamba na Karua ya Kirinyaga ni kitu moja. Tuendelee na tupende wa Kenya wote na tupende haki na Mungu atatuonekania na najua kesho yake tutakuja kusaidia Kenya
kutoka kwa ile shimo iliyoko. Congratulations. Kindiki kizuri by the way is one of us. Lakini kindiki asikubali kutumwa vibaya. Ye ni wakili, ye ni wakili na angalie e, wakati kama huu anaweza kuharibiwa sifa. Na mimi namwita nitakaya kwa because is from <laughs> from Sekuru to Tharaka ni karibu sana. Except kwamba wakati wa maandamano ya 2024 when was a minister responsible for interior even as we speak he still the minister for the interior. Jensi waliuawa wengi. Na bado wengi hawajulikani waliko. 2023 waliuawa watu wengi. Tukiwa na dada yangu mapacha my twin sister I don't know if she used to escape. Me, I was almost killed. Lakini waliangalia mother, wakaona hii mwili ni kama ya njiru. They spared her. They nearly killed us. Lakini mawaji ya 2024 kuwa watoto wengi na mnayo na uwe wanyome mekubali abductions. Wameshikwa kinyume na sheria. Hawapeleku kwa mahakama. Hawajulikani walipo. Complete and total abuse of Human rights of Kenyans. I want to propose wale watoto wa 2024 na 2023 ili kwaenzi kama mashuja wetu tomorrow. And my other mashuja ni vijana wetu wa JNC Kenya hii. Tunawaenzi mashuja wetu ha. So that tomorrow we have reason at least to celebrate. Nikija hapa nimepitia kamudhanga Mahali tulimzindikisha kijana um, Rex Masai. Up to today, hakuna askari hata moja amekamatwa akapelekwa korokoroni ndio tujue Ruto na serikali yake have any idea about human feelings. Hakuna askari hata moja. And I want to confirm even the international community wameelewa Ruto ni mtu aina gani. Sio vile walikuwa wakimuona as we speak things have changed. And the international community is with the Kenyan people. Kwa hivyo hapa tukisherekea hafla hii ya kiajabu. Hatuna budi hii la pia kujisherekea sisi kama wa Kenya na tujue nchi hii yetu hakuna ambaye anaweza kukotoa wewe haki yako kama mwananchi wa Kenya. Na hakuna hata ambaye ako na haki ya kutoa uhai wako. So we say bunge la Kenya, bunge la Senate na bunge la National Assembly vimetekwa nyara. Ile ni Raila used to say so. Vimetekwa nyara. By the exact kutekwa nyara aso One of the things my twin sister and my friends are under to look at because they've been in government. Something called confidential vote in the office of the president. Ndiyo meleta kutekwa nyara wazi wazi watu kununuliwa kama kuku kwa bunge. The first thing we shall get rid of is that confidential vote in the office of the president. Ndiyo wanainji wajue pesa zao hizi zinatumika kivipi. That is where the scent of corruption kwa nji hii. Mukisikia viongozo wa nanunuliwa ni hizo. And by the way, it is not even subject to public accounts of the National Assembly. This is why they can use the billions to do what they have done. Leaders amba wa mebaki na angalao conscience kidogo kiasi. Tuwa muke jameni tuseme no. Jensi waliingilia mahakama vacho before justice Barasa I was amazed I don't know they got the the coordinates waka ingio kondani kwa mtandao huku tukisema sisi unataka waka anza kuimba andani must go jaja akashanga mambo gani hata 
Akasema now this matter must go before open court. It is in open court. On Tuesday, my laden brother, Kibe Mwigai, had even introduced him as a act for conservatory orders. Ile International Airport yet to isiende na walagai. Wangapa zema International Airport haitaenda. I was We will not. Ruto, you'll have to kill every Kenyan to get the kind of country you are leading us into. We will not agree. It will not happen. It will not happen. Therefore, our judiciary, today, ilikuwa kwamba apate order. Leo Jumamosi, siku ambapo wenzetu wa Seventh Day Adventist walikuwa wakienda kanisani na kuingineko as we have had, walikuwa apate hiyo order the Deputy President Mpia Apisho in Leo. That was the purpose. And I said on citizen interview, and probably a lot of you will have watched, Elisema, we knew that on Friday there was going to be a special sitting of the National Assembly to approve the outcome of the Senate, meaning they had already anticipated debate before the Senate. So the Senate, Kwanza Mgekatalia Mwaneno, Elisema, this is already anticipation, it is illegal, it is in, 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 in contravention of the standing orders of both the Senate and the National Assembly. Lakini kaendelea hivyo. Juma, ijuma, kafanyika. On my way, nilipitia karibu pale na Uhuru Gardens. It was purpose kwamba wakitoka kwa National Assembly, was it yesterday? Walikuwa kitoka hapo, <laughs> on a Friday, walikuwa watu wa, wa, wa andamani mpaka Uhuru Gardens, because Katiba Nasema, the Deputy President, must be sworn in uh, openly. Uh -huh. It is very clearly stipulated. So, walikuwa mepanga kila kitu. Leo ni meona wamekua natoa, tuwapigia paipiwa na inji wa Kenya makofi, kwa su wametua hiyo. Walikuwa natoa mahema na kila kitu. Meaning that at least they could not proceed it must have been that the Chief Justice must have, said, must have told them, we can't do this. We will not swear. We will not swear your candidate. And now a lot of things, Kenyans on social media, are really, they are, people are amazing. I didn't, I had not checked that before you become Deputy President or President or something, you should not be a public, you should not have been a public officer for at least six months. It is there. It is there, that's the law. So, and Kidore, Kidore is a senior lawyer himself. He should have seen that. He should have advised his boss. We should not be incensed. We should not be so preoccupied with the present, uh, pres with the presence of Kitugano Tapata, Diwaribu Atasipa, Yainchi.